Hi YouTube, this is Mark here from Python for Trading and today I just wanted to go over a solution I came up with how to trade with Python and have the trades directly open with your MetaTrader brokerage. So if you guys don't already know what MetaTrader is, MetaTrader is a software that's been around since Windows XP era and it's built on C++ and essentially what Forex brokers do is that instead of them giving an API that's kind of a modern way to trade, kind of like how a crypto exchange would trade, for example, BitMEX, uh, Binance, Bittrex, etc. cetera, uh, what Forex brokers do is that they give you an uh, API in an indirect way through MetaTrader 4. And one other thing I wanted to bring up is why do I have such a strong Python preference and not some kind of uh, interest in using another programming language such as C++, C Sharp, Java, Node.js. The reason why I like to use Python is by far has the best libraries in terms of handling financial data, especially when it comes to Pandas data frame with Python. I think they go hand in hand. Pandas is the by far probably probably ever would be the best uh, data frame uh, library of any programming language by far. The second reason is Python has a really strong machine learning library or a set of libraries that other programming languages don't have. All right, to start the video, we're just gonna take a quick visit to my GitHub page. So the fastest way to find my GitHub is type MT4 Python, and it's gonna load, and here it is, my repository is Retribution by Revenue. And what we're downloading is my pre-configured MetaTrader 4 and Python training environment. So essentially um, what this is, it's a, a containerized version of Python 3.5 and MetaTrader 4. And I'm just waiting for the GIF to reset. But essentially what this does is actually the GIF is loading. So we have RSI over 90 in some hypothetical strategy. It's going to open a cell on EURUSD. And then it's going to, um, when we check the Python, uh, the MetaTrader environment, we're going to see that a trade did open on EURUSD. So it, it's, just, it's just a way to place trades ultimately. So just going over the logic very quick. Uh, we're going to be using the OANDA API to get the candlestick data. And I also provided a example of how you would program a Python trading strategy. And that will trigger trades based on the candlestick data from the OANDA API. Everything is uh, already included for you. And I'll go over the code more later on in the video. But the trading strategy will trigger some trades in time. And those trade information is stored on a CSV file. And what I also made is a expert advisor that would read from the CSV file of the trading information. It will read the the trading pair, the the direction, the stop the stop loss, the take profit, and ultimately will place a trade with your forex broker. And to download everything, you have to go to uh, mega.nz link that I have in the download section. So. Ultimately, you download it and it's in a .7z compression. So you will need 7-zip to decompress or to extract the files uh, of the uh, of the downloaded materials. And ultimately, what this would produce is there would be a folder called Python FX. And when we open the folder, it's going to have uh, MT4 portable, WinPython portable. Right now, I'm just interested in showing you what's in WinPython portable, WinPython. So what's gonna be included is a complete Python training environment. And what we have is uh, Spider, which is my favorite uh, Python uh, environment. So we're gonna open, we're gonna open Spider. And I also included uh, fo these folders here. These folders, Forks Training Bot is the location of the trading bot fx underscore trading bot and uh well so I've, i have this folder holds all the uh the currency pair information that we're going to be downloading from so spider loaded so i'm just going to shrink this down here okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening from uh 
win Python. We're going to actually, we're mostly interested right now in obtaining the candlestick data for the uh, eventual trades we're going to start placing. So in here, there's a live Forex candlestick downloader.py, which I made. And uh, essentially what this will be doing is it's, I, I included a API key, but uh, you should probably change it. I might change it in the future. I'm not, I don't know, but just for this, for this demonstration, this video, uh, we're just downloading 1200 one hour candlesticks from the time right now to 1200 one hour candles ago. So that's a, a long time. That's over, I think that's over three months. I'm not even too sure, but essentially, uh, this is a cool little trick you could do just to loop through all the currency pairs. If you write all, all 28 combinations of the currency pairs in a very large string, what you can do is uh, you could loop the string. You make Python read the first six characters of the string every time it loops. So what you will do when we run this program is you will see uh, it's going to download odd New Zealand candlestick data. Then once it, uh, it gets the data, it's now going to move on to a great pound odd. It's going to do that eventually for all 28. And what this is going to do is that it's going to loop it's going to loop indefinitely and it's also going to be saved to the uh when python the forex open high low close data so in the meantime you just have this program running to start so when it's time to now we're interested in using our candlestick data to make a trade with our trading strategy we're going to now you want to open up a new console so one console is dedicated for just getting candlestick data and and the second console is going to be dedicated just to look for trades to open with a trading bot. So really quick, we're going to load up the trading strategy. So essentially what, uh, what this does is it's going to look at every single, uh, CSV file, get all the information, put it in a pandas data frame, and it's going to use a trading strategy just to, uh, I know this trading strategy, I'm just using this example just to open orders. And I don't think this strategy is profitable. I just have it as a demonstration just so you guys don't uh, blow up your accounts or anything. You should probably be using the demo. Don't, don't ever live trade unless you have a, an algorithm that's like 75% profitable plus. So, uh, what's a cool thing also is that I included a, uh, a lot of instructions throughout the code. I have a lot of comments and essentially it's going to, the video I'm rushing, but if you take the time to look at the code, it's very detailed and uh, everything's oriented for new beginners. They're probably not really competent or they have a don't never traded algorithmically before. So essentially uh, it's, it's kind of a nice guide for beginners to look at how you should algorithmic trade. You, you just process the candlestick data. You, you use uh, some indicator Yep, right here. So we're going to using like technical indicators, RSI, moving averages, etc. We're going to make some kind of strategy. Uh, you know, we're going to have some stop loss and take profits in our code. And ultimately this trade, it's going to say place order. So what this does is that we're using pandas data frame to create a CSV in a very specific uh, location in our, uh, in our folder here. So what this is going to do is it's going to open up the MetaTrader 4 uh, files folder, I believe so. So MQL4 files, perfect. So the, I already have a last signal here, uh, but I'm going to delete it just for the demonstration. So MetaTrader could only look at files that uh, come in this one specific folder. So with Python, we're going to be directly uh, placing files in this folder. So MetaTrader can read it. So actually speaking of MetaTrader, we're going to open that up right now. So with MetaTrader 4, we're going to go into terminal. So what will happen, unfortunately, is that... Uh, it will crash on like its first time you open it. It's like a weird, weird MetaTrader Windows XP bug that uh, they never fixed for like 10 years. Not good. Uh, another reason why uh, MetaTrader should not be seriously considered anymore. Uh, 
if you ask me for my personal opinion, I think that uh, Oanda is probably your the best forex broker like of all time because they have a very nice uh, they have a very nice API which is very modern and a lot of these forex brokers ask. Forex brokers out there, they do not have a good API. They don't have any API. They, they rely on MetaTrader, and MetaTrader is not exactly uh, very good. So I will be trying to log into my Forex broker. Uh, hold on. Actually, I'm going to pause the video when I log into my Forex broker. All right, guys, I'm back, and I was able to log into my Forex broker. And now, essentially, what I wanted to quickly go over is that... How the expert advisor works from a more technical standpoint so when we go into our meta trader we want to go to open folder data and what's going to load is a a specific file location so what meta trader does is that essentially despite it being a portable version all meta traders essentially uh clone itself into your computer's app data roaming folder so when we notice, when we go to the app data MQL4 files folder, it's going to say that it's empty. And when we check out the expert advisor, it says file last signal not found last error is 5004. 5004 is a file read error because it can't read anything. So now as a demonstration, what I wanted to show is when I put a last signal CSV into this file uh, folder and we paste it in, what we're going to notice is that it automatically deletes and when I go over to the MetaTrader terminal, we see uh, a trade did open and that was pretty instantaneous. So in order to uh, make Python uh, copy the file, create a file in that specific location, what we need to do is once again, file open folder data, we need to get this file location and it's going to be very long and tedious but just control a copy it and what we want to do is we need to go into our spider in the forex trading bot.py and what we want to do is we need to go to the code where it's going to place an order so place order equal pd dot data frame place order panda data frame so within uh So within place border to CSV specifically, we want to, in the code, you're going to see that uh, you have to edit this yourself. So if there's going to be two of them. There's going to be one that I did a minor modification. What you basically want is uh, right after the bracket, we want to delete all this uh, string here. And what we do want to have is two, two quotations. And then now we paste in the file location within the string. However, because this is Windows and Python, they don't really like, uh, they have a, a weird error. Uh, it's not weird if you understand the technicality, but what you need to do is you need to put two double backslashes. So, and, and so Python could read the file location. So just gonna do this two times. I'm sure there's a clever, uh, way with code i could automatically force a, a additional backslash but i'm not going to do that for this video uh so then we go to the other place order hold on there we go paste it in and once again we got to put a backslash 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 it might be a forward slash, I have no idea. Just, uh, I'm assuming it's a backslash, 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 and backslash. And now, after this is the folder two, it's gonna be uh, with caps on M, Q, L, four, backslash, backslash, files, I believe there's, yep, capital F, I, I L E S backslash backsplash. Now doing to the other one. Backslash backslash MQL four. 
files and remember we need to also put the file that we're going to be putting so it's last signal csv so last signal dot csv and up here you also got to do last signal dot csv last signal dot csv and I believe now when I compile the code, well, not that it's going to, it's going to make a trade and we're going to see that. So when, when a trade will be triggered in the code, I should probably remove the, the sleep. It's okay. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just pause the video when a trade decides to open. I'll just stay quiet and do some editing magic. I don't know. There we go. So now that a trade did open and uh, it took maybe 10 seconds. I, th I think I had a sleep somewhere in the, in the script, but I think it will execute faster. And uh, essentially that's how I, I trade on a higher time frame, and I do not want to use ZMQ and uh, other additional uh, protocol layers. And also, you know, their code base changes, MetaTrader's code base changes. This, there could be times where you need a alternative solution to place trades. So the trade does open, you know, pretty fast. Like probably ZMQ might be hypothetically like a couple seconds faster, but I'm not going to cry about spilt milk. This is sufficiently good enough to open a trade. And for me that I, like I said, I trade on, higher time frames that specifically it's not a big problem for me and i don't think that it should be that big of a problem for anyone for any legitimate strategy I like that's profitable at all like i don't i don't think short term like strategies that are like within 5 minutes candlesticks are not profitable i think you know you're looking you need to at least you know 30 minute four hour, one hour, whatever your preference is. I think at least with those time frames, it's more uh, likely, in my opinion, you'll, you'll have a profitable strategy, but uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, so now what, what you're left with is you're left with Spider, you're left with MetaTrader, uh, and you guess could have happy trading. And uh, thanks for watching everyone and have a good day.